It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. There's no way that just happened. He's an asshole, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got, a bit, we, got a bit, we got a bit of a problem. <laughs> okay, so uh, they brought us out here to answer some questions to round off the trip, and we've changed seating plans oh, yeah. because... Um, These are slightly more sturdy. Yeah, I've, I've just folded a, another one. I've just folded a chair. Which was unintentional. You didn't really help me, you just sat there and laughed. No, I went and called the others to come out here. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, let's just listen, I've had a bad start today, as you can tell. Get questions. Come on. Most annoying group member and why. I'd have to say you. Oh, but you are annoying. I don't see how I'm annoying. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think you're a good you're good company, but at times you are annoying. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna come down to this level because it was obviously a question. It was really it, yeah, it's it, for you. you know, no, but it's a question. I bet everybody said you. Yeah, but it's a question that's put in. Has everybody said him? You're up there. <laughs> I'll take uh, it. Um, obviously the obvious is, is Julian, but I don't wanna, I don't want to do the obvious. I'm gonna go lead judges. He winds me up all the time. Yeah. I'm gonna go judges. Robbie. I'm gonna go with Robbie. Me and him just back and forth all the time. Yeah. It's good banter, but we, we, we know each other. But uh, yeah, Robbie, the Don. You gonna go first? <laughs> We're probably thinking the same answer. Uh, let's say three, two, two one, one, Julian. Julian. For you multiple go. reasons. Multiple, we could be here all day. Mm. It should be this person, although knowing them, like, they're probably trying to sh say me, because I'm always saying, hurry up to do this, sorry, I've got to organise stuff. It's got to be Julian. Apologies, Julian, man, but he's the most annoying person. But he's great. He's great, by the way. He's great fun to be around. That annoying, that an the way he annoys people makes him so much more fun. Um, but he is annoying. <laughs> Best Arsenal player on the tour. Oh, I put Rhys Nelson up there for the first two games in particular. Yeah, I liked, I've liked Rhys. Your in Timber's <coughs> been really good. I know he didn't play the yeah, last game. Yeah, Timber. He's really Deserves good. a shout. I want to say Martinelli, you know. I know he came Ooh. late. There's only been 45 minutes against United. I'll be honest, he didn't do that much against Liverpool. He did okay though. Um, you obviously, you've got to mention the youngsters. No, Nier, Ethan Nier, 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 Nier. Nier. Ethan for me is yeah. Ethan. Ethan Wanieri for me. Yeah, let's go. Nier. Yeah, Ethan Wanieri. I've got to go Wanieri, you know. Young player, come through, played really well against Man United, did well against yeah. Bournemouth. Yeah. Came on. Listen, I think I go. Not with many him. outstanding candidates, no. but. Yeah, he's the one I was looking out for. He's the one that's probably shone the most. Yeah, yeah. Martin Odegaard. Oh, that's a good question. Is Martin Odegaard, you think? Yeah, he, he made a real difference. Nelson's done OK. I think Nelson, for me, has been a bit of a surprise. So I'm going to go so you, Nelson. You could say he's the best improved player, but I wouldn't say that I, he was I, the I, best I, player. I think, yeah, I'll go along with that. Then. Best Arsenal player on the tour for me, Yuri and Timber. I was really impressed with him. Uh, physical, strong, looks fit, looks like a brand new signing, like Mikel Arteta said. So for me, really, really impressed by him. Played as centre back, and um, I think he's gonna have a big season. Funniest moment? I think for me, it was in the um, in the Cheesecake Factory moment when Cecil farted and uh, <laughs> Jason was smelling it and thought it was the food. <laughs> he's thinking. That's this cheesecake man. factory don't taste too good. Oh, goes, Cecil walks and farts. Yeah. Like, he walks up the stairs and farts every, every step. step. It's like some weird. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, listen, obviously, I missed a lot of LA, yeah? yeah. But you see the pizza. Yeah. The, the, the James giving it to the, the, the homeless, homeless guy, guy. and <laughs> it going a bit pear shaped from there. Obviously, you can't say all on camera, yeah, but yeah. It, it wasn't looking good. It wasn't looking good, yeah. Yeah, 100% this. Like, when I say. You went down at such a normal pace. I've seen people like fly onto a sofa chair and it smashed through. You just sat down casually, calmly. And it took me a second to process what the hell had gone on. Luckily, everyone got to enjoy it. Yeah, it, yeah it wouldn't be my funniest moment, but these look clearly, everyone had their phones out and was laughing, so great. Cheers, guys. I might have to go with today. <laughs> When Cecil, who's been given, uh, you know what, the most annoying person maybe should be him, you know, because he is very annoying as well. Turning up with his big old cases, when we tell him not to do it, doing everything, he's like a little child, honestly, but 
he's been giving it all tour and stuff like that. And then when he went to do his roundup today, sat on the chair and what happened? Karma, he fell on the chair. He's, he's, he's in there right now nursing his back. That's my funniest moment. We've had so many good fun, so many fun times here. We've just, uh, it's all been a laugh a minute really, isn't it? You going out at a game of cards, which you said, you know, you need, you need to be have good at and no skill and everything, and you went out first round. Yeah, because there was no skill. Yeah. There was absolutely no skill to it whatsoever. Quite, that's why I went out. That was the point I was making. If it's a game of luck, anyone can go out. If there's some skill involved, then obviously I'm going to have a uh, advantage. Worst moment. Worst moment's got to be today, because we're trying to get back to um, England. I have to say, my flight's okay um, at this moment in time. There's because some of us are on British Airways, some of us are on American Airlines, but um, they've cancelled the American Airline flight, which is the majority of people um, that are going back. So it's kind of the worst moment because everything else has been great. But yeah, um, I think it's got to be that. Is it not when you fell asleep and Ornstein beat you to the exclusive? <laughs> It wasn't when I fell asleep and Ornstein beat me to the exclusive, right? Because you know what? I take the sleep. I was absolutely shattered. You know what I mean? And there's been this narrative on this tour that I'm always sleeping, but yet still, I'm the person who's always out the late. They, Cecil and that went out one night, right? When they fanboyed up Mbappe. By, by the way, um, they were begging to meet Mbappe. Let me give you the true story of that. They were begging to meet Mbappe, but the security wouldn't let them in to see Mbappe. They managed to take a photograph through the door. Then I think Jude Bellingham felt sorry for them, came out and had a little chat with him and Curtis, but a bunch of fanboys. And then they woke up the next day like they'd won the lottery. Oh, we saw Mbappe, we went to this club. Yeah, you paid $100 to get into the club. You tried to blag your way into the VIP, got chucked out, right? And you didn't meet Mbappe, you just took a picture of him from a distance. And what? It just happened, mate. You've just seen it. No, that's the funniest moment. Nope, not for me. Worst one is our flight being delayed. Our flight's been cancelled um, and we've been rebooked, and in the same hour, I've nearly I've, I've smashed a chair and hurt my back. Yeah. And I got punched by my, my boss, Robbie, and marked my face. So, I've got a few. I've had a great time. <laughs> I missed, I missed a lot of the LA, well, not missed, but I was yeah. big six. So. Probably, listen, nothing bad's happened really, just probably losing to, losing to Liverpool. Yeah, nothing worst really. moment. Nah, there's no real worst moment. It's been a good trip, man. It's been good. All right, about now, because our flights have just been cancelled. So, um, after a magnificent tour, it's been magnificent. The last day we've just found out that uh, our flights are cancelled. Some of the guys are not even on, haven't even got a flight yet, have they? So I could actually be staying another day. So that's for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much there. Although, can we talk about the incident? <coughs> yeah, that wasn't a good one, was it? No. no. You, I'll, I'll say that, you say that. Yeah, but I don't really want to go into too much detail. Well, if we just had a row. Yeah, we had a row and Lee got slightly aggressive. And very, I, and, very, very aggressive. And, and I was told to not smile which I didn't manage to do, did I? <laughs> Certainly not, that yeah. made it even worse. Stop smiling, like, yeah. you know, but and, you and what did I do? Mm. Carry on, like, yeah. What was the highlight of the trip? The highlight of the trip for me has just been, I don't know, the whole trip overall has been fantastic. I've loved it. Um, both in LA, both here in Philadelphia. I mean, like, me personally, the response I got from the fans has been fantastic. But I think one of the highlights has got also got to be, um, we were doing some filming um, and some of the Arsenal players just came out. Uh, Martin Odegaard, Ben White, um, Ethan Wanieri, they just came over to us and started talking and they knew who we were and everything. And it was just a nice moment. There were no cameras, there was no photographs. We were just chatting. And um, I thought that was an outstanding moment. LA, man. LA was unbelievable. But the love, after the Liverpool game was... It was crazy. It was crazy. Right. I feel like the East Coast really, I don't know. The East, the East Coast, Coast are very passionate. I think we've got more love on the East Coast, Arsenal. Maybe it's more because it's closer to London, maybe more people from the East Coast yeah, come yeah, to London, I'm yeah. not sure. That's not disregarding LA, because LA yeah. is a city. It's probably my favourite city outside of well, It's unreal. Yeah, I was about to say outside of London, I like it more than London as well. Um, yeah. But Philly, the love, the love has been real. And it's a place I always wanted to visit, so yeah. For me, it's just being here. Oh, yeah, but you've you, you got to narrow it down to, to one moment. 
one moment. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a clue. I mean, for me, it was that meal that we went to, and the reason, one of the reasons was that we were so annoyed that we had to actually go for the meal. Yeah. Not that we had to go for the meal, but no one checked the address, and it was a two-hour journey. And then when we got there, we oh, realised yeah. we would have gone a lot further for that. It was just incredible. And we, we, we were saying, so thank we you, Jason. Miss, we didn't want to miss Ian Wright, no, because it's the same night as Ian Wright do. But we went for the, yeah, I'm going to go along with it. That meal was sensational. Yeah. It was but but if, if it was if it was one moment, I think actually meeting Ian Wright for me, and then the Arsenal players in the hotel yesterday. Yeah, that that that, that is the highlight for me. I'll, I'll, I'll say the meal, but uh, meeting Martinelli yesterday and him coming over and saying hi. You had to pick Martinelli, didn't you? Yeah, I know because he's your favourite. But yeah. like, he came over and said hi, and 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 and, and the players coming over and asking how, how I was, and uh, and, and I happened to have gone to the bar at that particular moment, but I did meet some other players. Hence. Not to buy around, it was to help Mark with the drinks. Just want to get that in, like, yeah? I was still being helpful. Uh, a highlight of the trip. LA was really special um, because Arsenal were camped there. You know, last year, they sort of done a few different plates, uh, you know, places in one go. I think LA for basically a whole week was great. Settling there, really taking it all in was really special. Yeah, I'll probably go with the fans, man. Just like, they fill out these grounds and they, they, they love it, man. They, they, proper passion and it's great. What about you? Yeah, LA, um, so since the second time, well, yeah, second time I've been here, or third time actually, but second time it's been special and I feel like there's just something in the air when we go there and got to, got to meet some amazing people, amazing players, get a lot of great access. I think the relationship with the club as well was, was, was different to what it's, it feels like it's been mm. and that really, I think, benefited the channel and what the viewers get to see um, as well. So. And it kind of started really when I was in LA. Um, so LA for me and, and just also the team. I know I joke, Robbie can be annoying. Everyone can be annoying at times, but we haven't argued really at all this whole trip. We've done this now yeah, yeah, for true. many years and, and it's, it feels like everything's coming together. Even the production team, the Jasons, the Ryans, the content we've been able to put out this yeah, trip, content's gonna be a I think it's been, a, it's been another level. And as a whole, as a team, I'm proud of this, this company for, for what it's done. And also I'm proud of what content we've found. I believe from what I've seen in the comments and. And, and the viewership that they've enjoyed it as well. So that's, I think it's my favorite moment, what we've been putting out and, and I hope you've all enjoyed it as well.